So very recently, we had another school shooting, and everyone's talking about it, and I figured, well, why not? I have some things to say, too. First and foremost, when we're talking about school shootings, we have a lot of different ideas being bandied around right now and this whole frenzied reaction to this terrible event. Quite a tragedy, it really is. And we have a lot of people proposing a lot of ideas and things. Now mind you, the worst way to solve a problem is to, in the heat of the moment, start proposing ridiculous strategies. But that aside, let's momentarily talk about what's going on here. We have people who are like, let's arm teachers and let's put guards in schools with guns and all right, if the problem is people getting shot and we have vulnerable people in a place where they could get shot, let's, I don't know, not add more guns to that equation first off? Like, I don't know. I, I think I'm talking from a reasonable standpoint here when I think if the problem is people getting shot, putting more guns into a crossfire situation with panicked students running around in a chaotic situation where we don't know who might be the shooter or what, I don't think more guns there is going to be the best answer. And yeah, let's not mention the fact that if all the teachers are packing heat, that shit's not conducive to learning. I mean, it, what happens the first time a teacher flips his shit? Because let's be honest, we have nut jobs in every profession, and teachers are no exception. What if one of them flips them sh their shit at a student and drills three bullets in his head because he's packing guns at school, right? Where people are going to suddenly be like, why did we allow guns in school? Whose fucking stupid idea was that? Yours. That's what it was. Own up to it. Because that's going to happen if you allow guns in schools like that. Some student's going to get shot one way or another by someone who didn't mean to shoot him or someone who did mean to shoot him and who shouldn't have. And everyone's going to lose their shit again. And we're going to have another series of stupid reactionary bullshit stuff going on where we're not coming up with a real answer. And while we're at it, what would help, right? Well, first and foremost, I think we need to have a long, in-depth, and calm, reasonable discussion about why people are shooting each other in schools in the first place. Why is this happening? Why are people shooting each other? Why do the kids feel the need to take this extreme form of a final out? If we could answer those questions, I think we could see who's at risk of doing it then. We could see who's in trouble, who could get shot, who could do the shooting, how can we stop it? Those are the questions we should be asking because if you're trying to limit guns, which is the other answer people try to say, let's ban them all and shit. Well, that's not going to help either. First off, you ban all the guns. There's still going to be guns. It will lessen them, yes. And maybe the attacks won't happen with guns, and the body counts will be lessened. Yes, I give you all of that, but the, an attack is an attack is an attack. Knife, gun, bomb, fucking gas, it doesn't matter. If someone wants to kill somebody else, they're going to find ways to do it. We have since the dawn of time. We are very, very, very good as a species at killing each other. So instead of trying to take away the tools to kill each other, why are they trying to kill each other should be the question here. But let's go a little deeper with all of this, because I think that point stands very simply. We have a media here, and it's our fault as much as it's the media's fault, that feeds like vampires on the suffering and tragedies of the world. That shoves cameras in their faces and asks them, how do they feel just because everyone you love got shot? How does it feel? Are you... what? I, I, I don't even have words for that level of horrifying monstrousness. You know how that feels unless you're a goddamn sociopath. Sorry, you... everyone knows to some level or can imagine or at least be horrified of the concept of losing someone you care about. You don't need to ask them on primetime television how exactly do their tears feel. That, I think, is one of the big problems we have here. We have a news media that takes these people who, in some cases, these shooters are looking for a final strikeout, a lash out against society and the world that doesn't understand them or whatever, and they want to be known, finally. They want to be recognized. They want to be infamous. They want to finally get their moment. You know what? Forget it. Every time someone does something like this, there's a gigantic media shitstorm about it where they interview every man, woman, child, and dust particle that could have been somehow related to the grandmother of somebody who got nearby a shooter. And then they hound it and hound it and hound it and make it this big thing. And it's now primetime news. It's talked about for 24 hours a day, right? And you know what that does? I'll tell you what doesn't do. Help. Doesn't help anything. Talking about the news is one thing saying this happened, here's the details, is one thing. 
But doing some Fox News bullshit where you gotta sensationalize this whole thing, you gotta talk about every conceivable goddamn stupid little angle to keep fishing up news stories where you talk about, well, he probably did this, and playing violent video games may have done this, and let's interview every single crackpot junkie who's smoking crack who's nearby. None of that does anything. It does not further our understanding of the story. It does not help the people, the victims, the bystanders. It doesn't help us understand how this tragedy came to pass. All it is is bottom-sucking feeding on misery and sorrow to make a quick fucking buck. And for all the people out there who eat that media shit up, looking at Fox News and all of that, and every other news organization does it, because it's not just Fox, they're one of the most egregious offenders, but uh, they all do it. And if you're sitting there eating that shit up and providing the demand for this bottom-feeding predatory reporting, then you're part of the problem. Well, what are you doing? You're part of the problem because you're sitting here making someone even more infamous by talking about it. At this point, first off, the damage is done. Like, it's already done. I can't add to this guy's infamy with my YouTube channel. And secondly, what am I doing about it? I'm proposing an alternate theory. I'm at least trying to start a dialogue that does not involve, let's sensationalize the attacker. Let's sensationalize the victims and let's not have facts. I'm trying to have a discussion here where facts are actually understood and used and the reality of a situation is actually taken into account instead of the I'm angry and let's make stuff happen. What's going to happen from that rash angry decision? You don't even know. You just need to make stuff happen to make yourself feel better, right? You got to feel better. You got to do something. Well, you know what? If you're the guy on fire, that's a very bad idea. Don't just do something. Do the right thing. You're on fire. It's like you're going to run around when you're on fire? You're going to just scream and yell? No, that doesn't help, does it? It makes the fire burn. No, you stop, drop, and roll. Everyone knows that. But screaming and yelling and running around is just as effective here as it is when you're on fire. If you're not taking the reasoned, correct approach, whatever that may be, then why are you even expending your effort to do something? And if you're going to run around, you're going to just say, oh, well, what are you doing to other people? Well, then ask yourself at the same time, what are you doing? Me? I'm trying to start something. I'm trying to talk about it and understand it and perhaps further discussion. If you're that guy who wants to sit there to everybody else and go, well, what are you doing about it when they bring it up? Well, ask yourself that question first and really think about, is asking everybody else that question helping? And you know what, I think in this kind of a situation where we're having over 20 kids killed by gunfire violence in schools by other people, like, we want to help the situation. I think we want to have a dialogue that actually matters, that furthers our understanding of this tragedy in a meaningful manner that lets us either cope and heal or deal with it in, well, dare I say it, an enlightened manner where we can actually stop this shit instead of understand it from behind the scenes of another camera pointed at a crying mother. Because quite simply, what we have now is reaction in our society. Tragedy happens, we react. That's it. We just react. We just get emotional. And then we throw around reactionary, dumb ideas in the heat of the moment, filled with passion. Let's ban every gun ever made ever somehow. Or let's make everybody ever, like, let's give three-year-olds guns. And it's running back and forth with stupid. None of this is helping. It's all reactionary. Let's prevent. Let's work to understand, analyze, and then prevent these tragedies. And while we're at it, let's not try to feed on the suffering and misery of the people caught up in this. It doesn't help them, it doesn't help us, and it's just not healthy. It's just something to think about. And while we're at it, cars. <laughs> Every time! That takes these horrible events and shoves cameras in people's faces and throws cars in their videos. And <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.